Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a linear equation when you have particular data points. Now, specifically, what I mean by that is I'm going to show you how to find a linear equation if you have like two points or two coordinates. And let's just pick one. Let's say we have uh, 2, 5, and 3, negative 4. So how do you create the, uh, the equation of the line that goes through those two points? And then the second example I'm going to show you is how do you create a linear equation when you have one point, and let's just use uh, 1, 4, and you already know what the slope is. And we'll say the slope is equal to something like, I don't know, let's say negative 2. Okay? So those are uh, the examples that I'm going to use here. Now what can you get from two points. Well, you can do a quick sketch of the graph, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my xy axis, and let's see what these two points look like. Well, according to this, I should go, one of the points is 2, 5, so I should go 2 along the x, and then 5 along the y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's one point, and it's 2, 5. I also know the point 3, negative 4. So let's go 1, 2, 3 along the x, and then 1, 2, 3, negative 4 along the y. So 3, negative 4. So here's my line. Let's go ahead and connect them. Draw them real quickly. Put arrows on either end. And I want to ask myself the question, what is the equation of the line that goes through those two points? So what's the equation for this line? Well, I know a couple things already. I know that it's going to be a, a steep negative slope, right? So that's going to be important. So I probably want to find out what the slope is. So let's, the first thing to do is find the slope. You might remember from other videos that the slope, which is m, that's the symbol, is equal to the change in y over the change in x. In other words, the change in from one point to the next in this direction over the change along this direction. Another way of saying that is the difference between the two y's over the difference between the two x's. Now what would be the difference between there? Well let's go up here and look. So we're going to take one set of y, so 5 minus a negative 4 over the difference in the, y, in the x's, 2 minus 3. Now what does that give me mathematically? Well, that gives me 5 minus 4 is 9 over a negative 1, or just a negative 9 slope. And let's see if that's true. And it really, it looks like it is, doesn't it? because it's a fairly steep slope. And another way of thinking of slope is rise over run. So if I go up 9, let's use this, if my rise is 9, so you start at the point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then I go negative 1 in the x direction, sure enough, I'm on that same line. So that gives me a negative 9 slope. Now, once you've found the slope, you can actually plug this in, plug in m equals negative 9 and 1 point, and we could use either one of these, let's use the 2 and the 5, into the point slope form. Now, what is the point slope form? This is a form that people don't use very often, but you really should because it's really helpful. The point slope form is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now you'll notice that I don't have any little sub numbers on this x and this y. That's because I'm not going to put any numbers in there. Where I'm going to put the x and the y are in the second ones, and then I put the slope there. So let's go ahead and just replace things. I'm going to say y minus in this case it's a positive 5, so y minus 5 is equal to the slope, which is negative 9, times x, which we're not replacing, minus 
the x sub 1, in this case, which would be 2, so minus a positive 2. This equation is the point-slope form for this line right here, for this graph. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what if I don't know this equation? What if I have to put it in, let me just put this over here, point-slope form. What if I have to put this equation into the slope-intercept form? Now, do you remember what the slope-intercept form is? The slope-intercept form is y is mx plus b, right? Let's just use a little bit of math. So let's change this. We'll just say y minus 5. Let's distribute that. So you get negative 9x. Negative 9 times negative 2 is positive 18. Let's sub add 5 to both sides. y is equal to negative 9x plus 23. And there it is. Your y is equal to mx plus b. According to this, my intercept should be at positive 23. Now let's just look at our graph. You'll notice that it's, it's heading up for a really high y value, and I'll guarantee you that it's going to be at a positive 23. So there's your slope-intercept form. Now what's one last thing we can do with this? Let's say you want to put this into standard form. Okay? Well, remember standard form is ax plus by is equal to c, which means that my x and the y are on the same side. So let's just add 9x to both sides, and you're going to get 9x plus y is equal to 23. And sure enough, that would be your standard form of that equation. Okay, so you've done all three. So let's move on to the second example. What if you already know create a linear equation from a point and a slope? Now this time this is going to be even easier, isn't it? I already know my slope. Again, I'm going to use the slope, point-slope form. And let's just plug numbers in. y minus the y1, which is 4, times negative 2 x minus 1 and there I have it point slope form let's change this again to the slope or slope intercept remember how we did that multiply these two add that over to this side and you get y is equal to negative 2x plus 6, there is my y is uh, slope-intercept form. Or y is mx plus b. And finally, let's change this to the standard form. Let's just add 2x to both sides. 2x plus y is equal to 6, and there's my standard form. Okay, I hope that was helpful.